Monarchies are a form of government that have been in existence for thousands of years. They involve a monarch, typically a king or queen, who serves as the head of state. And despite the West democracy crusade that seems to be taking over the world, there is still a significant number of monarchies that are alive and kicking today. Why is that? Well, let's start by reviewing the main criticism that people seem to have of monarchies. One of the main criticism of monarchies is that they are undemocratic as shit and can be seen as a symbol of inequality and privilege. The monarch is born into their position and inherits their power rather than being elected by the people. This can basically be a slap to the face for all citizens because how can someone that hasn't worked a day in their life be a good representation of the people that consists mostly of the working class? This creates a sense of unfairness and lack of representation, particularly in countries where there are already significant social and economic inequalities. It's like those multi-million dollar corporations that try to relate to a younger audience. But you just know that their marketing team is solely composed of out-of-touch middle-aged men. For example, in Saudi Arabia, the monarchy is an absolute monarchy, which means the king has complete control over the country's political and economic systems. Just imagine if the reigning king decides to completely lose his marbles one day. He would be totally capable of flushing the entire country down the shitter without any means of stopping him. Another weakness of of monarchies is their high maintenance cost. Monarchies can be expensive to maintain. In the UK, the cost of maintaining the royal family's lifestyle is disturbingly high, costing the taxpayer an estimated 67 million pounds per year. That's around 80 million dollars per year, or 2 trillion Vietnamese dongs. This has led to criticisms that monarchies are an unnecessary drain on public resources, and rightfully so. Just imagine being a nice little British citizen eating your spotted dick and paying your taxes, only to find out that this entire time you've been funding Prince Harry's wig collection. Yes Harry, I know that you're bald. You're telling me your brother came out bald but you didn't? Bullocks. You might have fooled everybody, but not me, you egg-headed son of a bitch. Another criticism of monarchies is the lack of accountability that they have to the people they govern. This means that if they make a bad decision or do something that hurts the people, there's not much the people can do to stop them or make them change their ways. This lack of control or say over their leaders can make it hard for the people to know what's going on and unfair. It's like someone asking you to play a board game with them, but they tell you that they forgot the rule book, then proceed to make up every rule as they go along. So it seems like nothing's coming out of this monarchy stuff but street stinkers. Are there any redeeming qualities like at all? Well, yes. Monarchies continue to exist because they offer a sense of stability and reassurance to their beloved citizens. In some countries like Japan, Thailand, and Bhutan, the monarchy is viewed as a symbol of national unity. The Japanese imperial family, for instance, can trace its lineage back to over 1500 years, making it a vital component of Japanese culture and history. Consequently, people feel like they have a consistent and stable foundation, even amidst the constantly changing landscape. It's kind of like having a really special and important family member who has always been there. Even if they're a little too special, you're still going to appreciate having them around. Another reason why monarchies continue to exist is that they can be more efficient and less prone to political instability than democratic systems. In many monarchies, the monarch serves as a figurehead and has limited political power. This means that decisions can be made more quickly and efficiently, without the need for lengthy parliamentary debates or negotiations. Something our British friends know very much about. Like seriously, Go look up what a British Parliament session is like. Shit's funny as hell, it's like watching a 7th grade classroom when the teacher's not around. Monarchies can also provide a source of national pride and identity for the countries they govern. In many monarchies like the UK, the monarchy is an important part of the national identity and is seen as a symbol of British culture and tradition. The royal family is one of the most recognizable and iconic symbols of the UK and their activities and public appearances are widely covered by the media. According to a 2021 survey, 60% of Brits think that the monarchy is good for the country Country. Not as overwhelming as I hoped, but hey, who would listen to the same people that came up with Stargazy Pie, am I right? Well, in short, while monarchies have their flaws, they continue to exist due to their ability to provide stability, continuity, efficient decision making, and a source of national pride and identity. So long live the king, for now at least.